The configuration service enables you to store persistent per channel and per extension specific data and have it provided to your front end on extension startup. This is a common pattern needed for most extensions and in the past, developers would need to build this out themselves. With the configuration service, you can quickly support scenarios like enabling broadcasters to customize your extension, store user IDs to call third-party APIs from your extension backend service, or save extension-wide settings. More importantly, you don't need to expose your backend to the front end on initial load, reducing your need to scale. This tutorial is going to discuss how to use the configuration service with your extension covering two cases, a front end only extension and one where the configuration service interfaces with your extension backend service or EBS. We'll start with the front end only example. In addition to video overlays and panels to view your extension, there is also a broadcaster configuration view. This is where broadcasters can configure your extension. In this example, we are going to configure a list of chat commands that a broadcaster wants to use on their channel. Ultimately, these commands will show up on a panel for the viewers. The architecture for this example is pretty simple. Once the broadcaster submits their configuration, the front end validates the input and calls a method provided by the extension helper JS to store it on the configuration service. On the viewer side, the extension is provided an object on startup containing the information stored on the service. The extension is notified via a callback function from the extension helper library when the data has been delivered. The front end can use that data to hydrate the experience, which means you can build an extension without needing to build out a backend. Now that we've demonstrated the simple version, we will show how you can incorporate the rest of your EBS with the configuration service. This example shows how a broadcaster can choose a type of animal fact to show up on their channel and save it in the configuration service. Then, use their EBS to trigger new facts showing up in the extension for their viewers. While this focuses on animal facts, this model can be applied to any data-driven extension. In this case, when the broadcaster stores their configuration on the configuration service, the front end also makes a call from the configuration view to the EBS to trigger additional logic. In this case, based on their choice of a cat or dog fact, the backend will query from a third-party fact API and store it on the configuration service as well. Now, when a viewer loads up the extension on their side, they will be able to see a fact about the topic of the broadcaster's choice. Using the configuration service, even when calling a third-party API, this extension does not need to expose itself to the scaling requirements of connecting to every viewer client. If you're looking to build a similar style extension yourself, we recommend using the configuration service to persist your data. The samples we've shown today are available on Twitch Dev's GitHub and also available as samples in the developer rig. Happy coding.